Let's get right at it with Supercharged Fiero 3800 Closer Look Part 3. One of the viewers of Part 2 noticed my clamps here and pointed out that they're the wrong clamps for fuel injection and he is entirely right. You don't want to monkey around with fuel injection so those are wrong. This is the right kind of clamp right there. It's a fuel injection clamp. This is the wrong style which is what I have on there. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on. All right. Done nice and correctly. On the left we have the high pressure hose, like 55 pounds, give or take. And the right is the return hose, so under normal circumstances it should have you know less than like 3 or 4 pounds max. So that's good to go, much safer, and let's move on. Next let's take a look at the ignition system, the ignition module and the coil packs. I've got them mounted up here in the right front corner of the engine compartment. Some people choose to move the battery up front and move the coil packs over here somewhere. This vehicle I primarily like acceleration and drag racing so I wanted the weight of the battery to remain back here. Uh, some people I've seen them put them back here inside the trunk area and that's a possibility. There are you can see the ignition module, the wires that go in there. There's quite a few of them. You'd have to lengthen them all, which is absolutely doable, but it'd be a lot of work. I chose to put it up here in the upper right-hand corner, so I did not have to lengthen the wiring harness. And it's been that way for five plus years with no issues. I do kind of have a little bit of a shield here, you can see. I should probably make that a little nicer, but there is a small gap between the trunk deck and the glass that if you're outside a lot in the rain, it could get wet. The ceiling is pretty good. I have not had any issues, but that, that concern has been on my mind. And you can see here I've got the coil pack and the modules mounted to this red mount, which is a mount that I made. And below that is the black cast iron mount that bolts to the front of the engine. That is a factory mount that I modified and shaved some parts off of. So here's some opportunity and options for where to put your coil packs and ignition module. Next, let's take a look at the throttle cable. So this bracket is factory from the Regal GS that bolts to the throttle body. And the cable here, I've been scratching my brain here a little bit, and it's been a few years, but that cable is either a stock Fiero cable from 84 or an 87. Those are the two that I had available. I don't remember which one. Maybe in the comments below somebody else can verify. The rubber connector here for the air intake. What I did is went to the Pick Your Part Auto Wrecking Yard and looked at a bunch of 3800s in stock and brought home a few of these rubber couplers. And this one seemed to work really well. It's the one I've had on here for several years. We've got the air intake temperature sensor there and it's connected to my homemade cold air intake which I'll take this vent off and show you a little bit more. Okay, we've got the vent grate off, and now you can get a closer look at the handy dandy air, cold air intake. This is just three and a half inch white PVC pipe. I painted it silver, so it's kind of got an aluminum look to it. This screw, I had put in a vacuum line with a gauge inside the car to make sure under full throttle, uh, full load, that I wasn't pulling a vacuum, which would indicate that the air cleaner was restrictive, and I got zero vacuum, so it, it told me that uh, it flows good enough for this engine. I also cut a hole in the steel part here of the inner structure, so that allows it to tr pull air from down low where it's nice and cool. And PVC versus steel or aluminum, it actually provides a little bit of insulation. The engine bay, you know, probably gets up to 120 degrees, 130, maybe more. So this kind of insulates the two different temperatures of the air as well. Next, let's take a look at the dog bone mount and how it attaches to the engine. There really wasn't a blueprint, and I found this to be a challenging part of the build, but I just use scrap metal to fabricate this mount and how it bolts to the head. And it's also tied into the tensioner for the main belt drive, which is actually a recycled tensioner from the original engine. I'll show you that here in a second. Let me go to the other side. Yeah, so this is the original tensioner off the uh, Buick Regal, and I modified it by cutting the bottom part here off and discarding it, and then fabricating the mounts out of metal to attachment points where I could bolt to the engine. And so again, this is um, kind of a tricky part of the build, but you'll have to do a little more research to figure out how to get this done for your particular engine. That's a wrap on part three of Fiero 3800 Supercharge A Closer Look. Stay tuned for part four coming soon. Please hit that like and subscribe button below. And as always, thanks for watching.